Thanks, Tony. Um, just want to give you guys a real brief uh, update uh, the, on, a, on a shooting range project, shooting range project right outside of Pier. Um, this is an existing range that's been located on 96 acres of uh, Corps of Engineer land. Um, it has uh, been in place for about 60 years, um, so th this isn't anything new. Uh, what happened is in 2002, the Corps of Engineers um, uh, transferred uh, management responsibilities to the Game Fish and Parks uh, through a perpetual lease. And uh, since 2002, uh, uh, between parks and wildlife, we've kind of mostly parks has been managing and we've been helping out with some funding. Um, right now, this is our current setup. And uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty fundamental range um, it, right outside of one of our population centers and uh, obviously in the central part of the state. Um, we have four benches. Uh, max right now is about 100 yards. You do see that we have a 50-yard a uh, target out there as well. But through use of some road counters uh, by the parks people, uh, their calculation is that we've got almost 24,000 users a year that are using this, this shooting range. Um, that's a significant amount of use uh, that goes through this facility. Um, and it, and it's, uh, it, we just felt like it was time to put some money into it and, and uh, get it upgraded. Um, you can see this is the parking area, and again, thinking about those 24,000 people, that uh, 24,000 visits we get each year. And again, that's, that's uh, an average over about 10 years. Um, this is the parking that we use. It's, it's really limited. Uh, the, the big limiting factor here, too, as well, is that you can see that path as it comes up the right side. It's definitely not ADA accessible, so uh, it's, um, it, it doesn't meet today's standards. So that's another um, very good reason for us to go ahead and take a look at this project. It's been in the works for about 10 years. Uh, it started, I, I've heard conversations started back before I was even with the department. So um, they've been kind of kicking around this idea of, of uh, improving the facility. We know there's a lot of use and um, we're finally getting around to uh, getting, some, getting something done. Uh, coordination with the, the Corps of Engineers to relocate the, the range. We're going to move it about 800 yards to the east, closer to the road. Um, that's required us to look at abandoning our current site and, and, and uh, uh, establishing it on a new site. Uh, working with the Corps of Engineers, we had to uh, gain a little extra land there. It required us to adjust our lease just a little bit. Um, with closing down the old range, we had some lead issues. As soon as you abandon, a, you know, even though the Corps turned it over to us, they said, well, if you're going to abandon that range, you better make sure that you do something with that lead out that's out there right now. Um, and, and it required us to... Uh, do some creative thinking to, to take care of that. Um, and we, we've got those issues resolved the, to the, the core standards, the state DNR standards. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to scrape up a bunch of that dirt. We're going to move it down to our new range. We're going to use it to, to uh, in our backstops for the new range. So uh, this is a Pittman-Robertson uh, uh, eligible project, so we'll be able to use federal aid to, to cover a majority of the bill, which is, which is great. Um, and another interesting uh, way that we've tried to cut some costs on this thing is, if you remember back to 2011 when we had flooding at the downstream, Oahe Downstream Campground in that facility, um, there was a bunch of dirt that needed to come out uh, as part of their renovation. And uh, knowing that this project was coming, uh, we, we asked that they stockpile that dirt there, and that's going to be a big part of reducing our costs on, on, on this project. And I think it helped with that project as well when they didn't have to truck that dirt as far. Uh, they could just move it down the road a little bit and we've got a big pile of dirt to play in and it's going to help us um, with this project. This is the, the new uh, layout that we're looking at. And again, this is back towards the main road. That, that's still a, an entrance road that you see on the right side of the screen. Um, what this is going to establish is we're going to have uh, 10 100 yard benches and those are going to be right up in here. Uh, there's going to be five there on this side of the berm, five on this side of the berm. Uh, there's going to be a, a center berm down the middle so that while one side is going down to check their targets, the other side can continue to shoot. It's going to allow us to, to accommodate more people at one time uh, and, and just make it more user friendly. There's also going to be two 50 yard benches. Um, those two will be right along this side. Uh, there'll be a 50 yard berm right there to shoot into, whereas now we've just got a freestanding target. Um, this will, uh, I think, will be a, a lot safer operation for us. We also have two 300-yard uh, stations. Um, th those will be uh, located up here, and we'll be shooting at this backstop. That won't be a uh, place where we hang targets and go down and check them. That's just 
probably going to be a gong that's out there and allow us to shoot at 300 yards and probably more of a recreational opportunity than it is actually sighting in rifles, but it's, it's shooting and I think it's going to be a popular choice for people. We also uh, are creating um, some pistol opportunities as well. You can see these two bays here are, are going to be our pistol opportunities. We're going to have three benches uh, sitting there, or excuse me, three, uh, uh, yeah, I guess they're going to be benches on each side of those berms. That'll allow us to, to uh, have up to three people shooting in each one of those at a time. Um, and having a dedicated place for pistol shooters, that's completely different from what the rifle guys are doing uh, and separate so that it can all be going on at the same time. We're going to be able to accommodate a, quite a bit more of that traffic. And we're also going to establish a little shotgun area here. And it, it, what that's going to be, is it's not going to be permanent pat traps or anything like that. It's basically just going to be a, an area where we can pull off to the side of the road that will be designated for if you want to come out with a hand thrower or a foot thrower or something and, and shoot some clay targets, then um, that, that kind of stuff can happen down here. Whereas right now we've got people that are shooting shotguns up on our main range and, and doing a lot of stuff. And we get conflicting uses and we think if we separate these guys out, um, we can accommodate a lot of traffic and, and reduce some of that conflict. Again, this is all going to be ADA accessible. This is going to be, uh, you know, all of the grades that it needs to be. There's going to be quite a bit of concrete here. Um, we're going to be able to go from, you know, these are going to be parking lots. You'll be able to park back in behind here and have a level grade, and, and we'll be able to get those, uh, uh, those folks with, uh, with the disabilities onto the range, um, and we think that's going to be a, a, a bit real popular choice for people. Just to give you an idea where we're at with our budget, um, the preliminary design estimate was at $325,000. That was approved in the FY Capital, uh, FY14 Capital Development budget uh, the, back in FY13 um, when, through the commission. Um, we, we opened up bids on March 20th, and our low bid was $164,000. So uh, we're real, real excited about where these came in. Um, it's going to obviously reduce the, the overall cost of our range and we're going to get something done for a, a significantly less uh, amount of money than what we anticipated. We're thinking that our total construction costs are going to be around $215,000 for those things that weren't included in the bid package. Um, those kinds of things are we're going to put covered structures over each each one of those shooting lines so that people can get in uh, out of the sun. Um, in addition, uh, we're, we're going to have some uh, concrete shooting benches um, we're going to be able to build our target systems. We're going to have uh, some vault toilets out there. And uh, obviously, with any shooting range, we're going to have to have a bunch of safety signs to make sure we're, we're directing people to the, the appropriate activities. And uh, so that's a, we're figuring about another $50,000, and I think we're, we're real close. We've, we've done this before recently down in Hot Springs, and, and uh, we're, we're pretty confident with our numbers. So uh, to come in, you know, almost uh, $100,000 under what our anticipated budget was, um, we're real happy with that. Uh, as I said, we open up the bids. Uh, we have the contract. I believe it's on its way to Tony right now and should have that signed in the next, uh, probably the first part of next week. And that schedule lines out uh, June 1st as a construction uh, begin date. We have to have the, in the contract, it says it must be completed by August 15th. Um, because we're shutting down one range and opening up another, it's going to require us to have a period of time there uh, where we don't have a range available. Um, we know that that is going to not make everybody in the world happy at us but uh, we, we hope uh, through through some of these local outlets uh, that we're going to be able to tell these people you know hey we're going to do the work and say if you guys hang with us for a couple months here we're going to deliver you a better product and it's going to be worth the wait um, we know that's going to be an important part so we're getting out there right now we're, we're distributing what we uh, the design um, through we're going to get on the radio we're going to the local newspaper we're working uh, with local sporting groups and, and retailers, and, and we're going to make sure everybody understands what this project is all about. Uh, another portion of this thing is, you know, along with involving those sporting groups in, in just knowing why we're shutting down the range, we're also working with these guys to help us out with um, a, a little bit of funding, not a lot, but we're, we're going to ask them and, and have asked them, and they've committed to helping us out with uh, actual construction of the overhangs. They're, we're going to. Uh, and actual construction of the benches and target systems. And they're going to have some skin in the game. They're going to have some ownership. <laughs> and because this is not a manned range, we believe that that's going to help us with uh, a lot of the, you know, the trash left on the, the, the shooting range right now, um, people putting you know, TV sets out there and shooting them up and those kinds of things. 
Um, we believe that buy-in by the local groups is going to help us reduce those kinds of incidents. Um, and, and not only is this a money saver, but like I said, it builds that, that commitment from a local level. So kind of wrap things up. Uh, this is what we're looking at right now. This is the kind of overhangs that we're going to put in. This is, this is from out at Hot Springs. This is going to give us, uh, you know, the environment that we need to, to, uh, that, that our shooters are expecting, and uh, uh, we're going to be able to provide that to them. We're going to have a, a safe place to shoot from. We're going to have provide the proper benches. Uh, you can see that these things have adjustable heights uh, where our shooters can, we can accommodate uh, from little kids to, to great big tall guys, and, and we're going to be able to make sure that everybody has a, a proper place to shoot. We're going to make sure it's safe. We're going to have, uh, you know, if we, if we put all these things together, we're going to have a safe environment for people to shoot in. And if we do all those things, then we should see a lot more of this kind of thing. And we'll see a lot more uh, people out there shooting in a, in a safe fashion, see a lot more kids out there. And that's uh, really what we're shooting for. This, all those pictures are from our, our Hot Springs uh, uh, shooting range that we just completed last year. So. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a, a quick update on that. Uh, it's been in the paper once or twice, and we're moving forward. Yes, sir. I think part of that, Commissioner Spies, is if, if you give them a, a new uh, facility, there's going to be some of that that, hey, this is brand new and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean up after myself. The other thing is right now when you're dumping that brass after you shoot, it's going in the dirt, it's going in the grass. You know, we're going to have concrete under these things and, and that brass is going to hit the concrete. And, and I think that's more of an indication you, need, you do need to pick up those kinds of things. And the other part about building some local support, I think there's going to be uh, you know, the guys that are actually out there building those overhangs and benches, they're going to be out there shooting quite a bit. We know that they're probably going to be picking up after themselves, but they're also going to be looking at the guy next to them and say, hey, pick up your stuff. You know, this was a big investment. This is a big commitment on our part, and I think there's going to be some of that self-policing. Um, on the backside, we, we do have a contract with uh, some, some different people, uh, in the parks specifically, to come out and, and try to take care of some of that on a regular basis. So. Not, not that I'm aware of. No, no, not, not that I'm aware of. But, but this obviously, you know, with a with a new investment, it's something we're going to be monitoring. And if we see some of those issues, we're going to try to find some resolution to the problems as well. So, it's going to be real good. You know, in addition to this, we've got an archery range, and I think, uh, you know, we've been working with Pat Busher and Jordan Kitts. Uh, those guys have just done yeoman's work on this thing, and, you know, Pat sees it as a, you know, people that come and camp at Oahe Downstream could do it specifically to use the archery range and the rifle range, and it, it benefits all of us. So, Hey, thank you.